Welcome back, and yes, we're going to be looking at Minna Kant. If you are unaware of who she is, don't worry. I'm going to keep this really short and sweet, and hopefully you'll understand at least maybe get something out of this, right? I mean, she has a few statues. We even had a, a day in honor of Minna Kant. She is one of the first women, or she is the first woman, to receive this honor of flying the flag and having a day. Wow for social equality. Now, yeah, we don't fly our flag every day here in Finland. You'll get a ticket if you're flying it on a day that you shouldn't be. Just FYI. So Minna Kant, yeah, she was not, that's not her born name. No, she is actually Ulrika Wilhelmina Johnson. And if you're wondering, is that a Finnish name? No, no, it's not. And neither is Minna Kant. Just FYI, I don't know who these people are, but those are not Finnish names. They say they were born in Finland. Oh, it's possible, but they are not Finnish. But her father was very well-to-do. He was in charge of Finlayson and textiles. Now, in case you're unaware of what that is, don't worry. I'll share a picture that should remind you. But she also was able to study, which was very rare for girls. And it was in Swedish, by the way, when I was looking further into it. She married a man by the name of John, Johan Kant right here. They started a, a paper together, or actually he started it, of course, because women were not allowed to do much back then, except for be women and mothers and stay-at-home mothers. But she became a writer as well, and a teacher, and a mother of seven, and he passed away at a young age, and she was actually a mother of the seven at in, in her mid-thirties, I believe. But like I say, she became a teacher, and remember like many of us have been saying, that the Masons are in the education. They are the ones teaching our children today. Yeah, this is clear as day, even here in Finland. Now, her father, as I said, right here in the back row, and as you see the other gentleman there, front and center, his hand is in his jacket. He's showing the clear sign of the Freemason, the hidden hand. So, yeah, they're in the club. And this is the Freemason club that he was in charge of, Finlayson. Remember, I showed you this not too long ago, Jesus Sheets? Yeah. They're running full and strong even today, just FYI. So they have a few statues of her, and yeah, she's got 51 manuscripts, according to one person, and 119 letters, if that stands correct. We'll go over the statues in a minute, but yeah, I mean, clearly... With those numbers, you you can already tell who she is. But let's look further because we have to find some clear signs, right? This statue here is in Tampere, one of the first ones made in her honor. And this is what's on the back side. And yeah, a lot of them are done in like a black stone because that is a very popular stone here. Now this is metal, I believe, but but still. And this one here interesting how she's standing and a book is next to her apparently someone else has dug into that but anyway I'll look into that in a minute but they put flowers on their heads in front of them they show all kinds of honor of this Minna Kant that's a later statue done of her as well as you can see she's a little heftier and there again the flowers they decide to give her in her honor look I don't know if you've read her books I haven't but or see some other symbolism in some of these covers that they've done and written even of her since she's become so popular. Even her gravestone looks like an obelisk. I'm just saying. But anyway, another thing that was done in her honor was this, which is rise. And uh, it means also store, kind of like the same metaphor maybe as what or the name of her book possibly I don't know but very unusual and I thought of like the horns you know I don't know but I'm not sure so the first one like I said no this is the second statue that was done in her honor somebody else had looked into her and had mentioned why the book was opened and they seemed to think that it was done in honor of the Freemason because that's how they do their how they show their book inside the Freemason building. I don't know. I'm just saying. And then somebody else looked into this. Why would she be holding a scroll? And a scroll also means something, and it's very esoteric as well. So 
I'll add the links. But then this one is the one I looked into. I tried to get close-ups of exactly what's on her shirt or anything else, and then I noticed the hand sign. At least it looks like a hand sign to me. The M. The M. Are you a Mason? Yeah, M for Mason. Just saying. But that's what I noticed. And of course, Mina Kant, yeah, her name is on a Finlayson building hmm, where her father worked. So very interesting. And she has a road named after her. She has her face plastered over the building. She had a stamp done in her honor back in the day. Mm -hmm. And she even had her face on a plane. So she can't just be just an everyday Joe, right? Or just a woman who stood up or was able to sit down in a bus or or something like that. No, she's clear as day a rotary member. But I when looking for her name, yeah, I did find the blue book, but that's not why I'm saying that. I'm saying that because the rotary mention her even in their site, and they wouldn't do that unless you were one of their people, one of their members. So whether you've looked into her, read her books, heard anything about her, and you might even know a whole lot more than what I'm saying right here. All I can say is what I know to be true. Oh, look at that. What's on the wall, by the way. Oh, man, I should have zoomed in on that. But anyway, we already know who they are and who is running a lot of what is all around us today. That's all I can say. It, it, this was a short history lesson even for myself to realize who the Finns are honoring every single day <laughs> all the holidays I try to look at because I'm very intrigued and I just want to point them out to everybody all around me saying that wake up don't you realize who is running our country right now today all right god bless take care that was just something I noticed and and had to look into we'll have more coming at you tomorrow god bless have a great day